Hello and welcome to Current Issues. I'm Hisham Tilawi. Banning TikTok. Who are the forces behind it and why? If we listen to our congressmen, we would think that there is a war being waged by China on our country through TikTok. But keep in mind that TikTok has been around in the United States since 2016, September 2016. We have over 170 million Americans on TikTok. America is the largest market for TikTok. Everybody is on TikTok. So why does the government want to prohibit this? Even though they have talked about Chinese influence on TikTok. They talked about China is spying on us for many years now, but they never took a step forward into banning TikTok. Even in March of 2023, March 17, 2023, the FBI had started an investigation of TikTok and they couldn't find anything. Now remember March 23, they could not find anything on TikTok to actually either charge them with uh, uh, inappropriate behavior or call for banning. But it wasn't until October 7th, 2023, when the voices became increasingly talking about shutting down TikTok in the United States. Now, remember October 7th, because many of you know October 7th as the day the war started between Israel and Hamas. Uh, stories that are run counter to U.S. national security interests or support Chinese interests. And we've seen that. We've seen that after October 7th. I might say the war Israel started on the Palestinian people. So TikTok has removed 100% of anything anti-Semitic, anything that deals with Holocaust deniers, 100% they uh, uh, took it off. And they even took off some stuff just because it may have bordered that issue. Even with that, the real reason though, the real reason why TikTok, why Congress voted to ban TikTok and the Senate gonna do the same and the president gonna do the same because our Congress and our government has no choice. It is not their decision. And it has nothing to do with American security. And it has a lot to do with Israel's security. Now, who wants to ban TikTok? TikTok should be banned because they are poisoning American minds. Let me tell you something about TikTok poisoning the minds. And if this is poisoning the minds, if it fits that definition, you be the judge. On December 22nd, December 22nd, 2023, 82.6 million hashtag free Palestine. And on that same month, Two millions stand with Israel. Now, do you see the bigger picture now? Do you see now why they want to ban TikTok? Mind you, at that time, Israel hasn't done half of what it had done to the Palestinian people from killing, massacring, slaughtering, destroying, raping. In Al Shifa Hospital, they were raping women in front of their husbands and in front of their sons. And if you say anything, they shoot you. If you close your eyes, if you're the husband watching these gangs of thugs, Israeli soldiers raping your wife, taking turns. If you say, if you, if you close your eyes, they will shoot you. 
because they want you to watch. That is the Israel that our congressmen and women saying we share their values. That's what they ran. That's what Nikki Haley, Chris Christie, DeSantis, everybody, when they are running in their political campaigns, they say, we share our values. It's the only democratic allies there. Well, if you share their values, then shame on you because the American people do not share your values. You know why you share your values? Because you are willing to sell your soul to the devil. And that's exactly what you have done. So how do they sell their souls to the devil? It's been a while since I have done my television program, Current Issues TV. And we're gonna get back into being more active on this issue because APAC was one of the topics, one of the main topics that we actually discussed on Current Issues TV. You think American, uh, uh, American Israel Public Affairs Committee, they'll probably bake cookies and go take it to the neighborhoods. No, that's not what they do. What they do is they control our congressmen and women. They control our government. How do they control it? Money, money. Do you think your congressman wants just votes? No, votes don't do him any good if he doesn't have money. And Israel with its arm, APAC, standing there to give money. You know, at the time when I used to do Current Issues TV, they were hiding behind the scenes. Now they're not because they don't have to. They don't have to. Now I have interviewed Senator Paul Findlay 15 years ago, bless his soul. He's the Senator from Illinois who really understood. And I believe he wrote a book called uh, uh, They Dare to Speak or something like that. Go read it so you can see how long and how deep their control was even at his time. Right now, it's 100% control. And I also interviewed Congressman uh, Jim Trafficant. We do have Jim Trafficant on the uh, on the line with us. Jim, welcome to the program. I've stated that the powerful American Israeli Public Affairs Committee, powerful lobby controls Congress. And I'm not an anti-Semite, but they do control Congress. And I think the only people that should control the Congress of the United States are the American people. You might be able to find that interview on uh, uh, on YouTube. So what does APAC do? APAC boasting on their um, on their website that they have supported in the last run, they have supported 365 congressmen and women pro-Israel. Now you have to be pro-Israel. They're not gonna just give you the money if you're not gonna be pro-Israel. 365 pro-Israel. They spent $17 million supporting them. They are boasting that they have their success rate is 98%. So out of these 365 that they controlled, they got 98% of them. For decades, APAC has brought Democrats and Republicans together to strengthen the U.S.-Israel relationship. Passionate Americans have lobbied Congress to enact pro-Israel policies. And today, the alliance is closer than ever. And we aren't done. That is why they banned and they voted to ban TikTok. Israel is in control of our Congress. Israel is in control of our Congress. They call the shots. TikTok, that's why they banned it or they want to ban it. With that, I will say until next time, take care. Thank you for watching.